So we were recalling our character Polar Penguin at Bikini Point over Art Corp on a fresh server with the hopes of running a few missions from the ship. It was done our first day on board and while we were in for some fun encounters ahead, right now our wishes were fulfilled by a much smaller comfort. Yeah, the elevator no. is here. The elevator works. Katie, where do we find the uniforms? Okay, I'll show you. Um, okay. Come with me. They're in the, in, the, in the crew area over here. Makes sense. This big box in the corner has got all of the uniforms in it. By now, we'd also move food on board to the galley, weapons to the armory, and of course, a healthy number of plushies. And for some of the crew, this was a new experience altogether. You don't really get a grasp of how big the ships are until you're actually in one. Is this your first time on the Carrick? Yes, very. The first time feels so big, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There would be a little running around prior to take off. Rojan, follow me a sec. Yeah. Check this out. So this is like the this is like the lower flight deck where like the, the pilot sits and the co-pilots. There's like an upper deck as well, um, which has like the command area. Oh, okay. Oh, check hey, that so out. Yeah, you should be Thank you. Do you know where the armory is on this ship? I'm coming down to meet you now. Listen, Katie, I'm really sorry, but I might have dropped a soda that I can't get out of the, the floor <laughs> over here. So you're gonna have ants, and I apologize. <laughs> there you are. After last time, Rio had decided to bring some of the repair guns on board. This box, one of these boxes, one of them should have space to put stuff in it. Yeah, just don't take off yet because I gotta drag it from um, the local. Okay, I think we're good. To, we're good to take off now. We're already in space. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Excellent. This time I was heading for the port side turret. Out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in this turret. I'm not sure if they have atmosphere or not. So. Be interesting to find out. One way to find out. It does have atmosphere, which is good. So at last we were underway and our first stop was not to be anything too taxing, simply taking down some very small targets to earn one of the lower level bounty certs. But the travel time gave the crew on board more time to look around. I'd never actually been back in the uh, engineering space back there. It's huge, yeah. It ships like the Carrick when engineering finally does come. I think they're gonna be so good for that gameplay because of the amount of dedicated space that they've got for it. And There's huge ass garage doors back there for the QT and power plant. As we approach the target, we begin sending our scanner pings to locate them. I, I have a feeling 323 is gonna be like a, a hard wipe with all the economy stuff they're changing. Yep. Yeah, we're coming on with the Here we go. Just be aware you're It's gonna be something tiny up, because. Yeah, contact, contact. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah. 1.6, he's right below us. Yep, I got. I got Two a contacts. shot. It's coming in too fast. Oh, missiles. missiles. I don't know what that was. It didn't even. Got one. Down. He was one. That one's out of range. He's 3 KO. 2 is roughly where I start shooting. Missile. Down. <laughs> what do you know? We did it! <laughs> We'd immediately go looking for our next job. Sharing a mission. This one is a bunker where we've got... It's the... Um, secure consignment so we will ha we will be going out on foot in the coming week operation overdrive would begin and that would give the penguin a more unified goal but for now we'd be running odd jobs here and there and the next was to secure a confidential package from a bunker nearby it's like being on a you know a small fishing boat versus a yeah, uh, makes sense. Yeah. a cruise ship as we made our way in, it was time to gear up for FPS combat, and on the way in we'd come into turret fire, which given that we were on the side of security for this one, was unexpected. <laughs> oh, no, we're turret. We're locked up, but I don't know why. It's the turret. Oh, no, no, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. It's not shooting. 
Has everyone got the mission? Everyone? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Normally, if someone, if someone doesn't have the mission, can we can be... Can you one more time, please? Can you? The right shield is almost gone. The same with the back shield. I'll try sharing it again, just to make sure. Yeah. I should... Sharing? There we go. I got it now. But by now, the turrets were in aggression mode, and so landing further out and driving seemed like the best option. Just let me know when you need a boarding party. We'll use the ESO. If we if we um, just land a lot further away, we can drive in. It'll be okay. That's actually really interesting. We'd be setting down a few kilometers from the bunker. I didn't get a crime stat either. Uh, it's pretty yeah. flat where we are. There we go. That should help. Boards up in the air, sir, and we'll head in. Yeah, that's a... But little did we know that as we boarded up, ready to go, our navigation marker for the bunker would disappear. Well, that's the best way to do it. Oh, okay. If you don't have space, then we'll let you put so you Wait, does anyone have a marker for the... <laughs> don't have a mission marker for some reason, so... What I was saying is, I don't know if you can see it, Kate, but I see a ship or something I'm able to lock on. Um, okay, right, I'm following your gun. So, Ryo had a lock on a ship on the ground, and those abandoned ships are usually landed close outside of bunkers. This is the level of jank that makes Star Citizen so beautiful. Listen, I am the navigator now. People who don't have a seat, uh, it might get a bit bumpy. And soon I could pick up the ship as well, making navigation a little easier. The, uh, invisibility of the backpack in the... Zug, can you see it? Because I got flashing lights ahead of us where the marker is. Perfect. Are. That's good. That, that means we're going the right way, I think. But when we found the ship, well, it was not close to the bunker. Okay, the ship is a, is a redeemer that is... I guess in the middle of nowhere, Zergberg had a better idea of where to go. It's to our right and behind us. Some. Wait, what? According to Zug, 2k out. Oh, we just saw him. See the Carrick's light. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was locked onto a second ago. Was the yeah. Receiver. Okay, how about this, Zug? Oh, I see the lights. Uh, Katie, look off to our like 11 o'clock. I see red lights over the hill to our, our left. Yeah, maybe to like the one, two, yeah, dead ahead of where you are right now. Okay. Just over this hill, I saw red lights. I see it. <laughs> Pull over and ask for directions. <laughs> We're not lost, Blast. There it is, I see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. good spot, well done. Next, junction. Turn left. <laughs> 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 we kind of uh, enemy resistance here. Uh, will yes. we get inside? Yes. <laughs> we should be okay until we take the elevator down. Just as with crewing the Carrack, some of our party were new to bunkers as well. Oh, this will be your first bunker, huh? Oh, really? Wow. Okay. It's actually Second, my first actually. bunker too. Okay. Next good. Good. Uh, good. Protected. When we get down there, there will be um, dead security guys. If you search them, they'll have data pads on them. One of those data pads will give the code that will let us get the consignment from a little, um, like, storage unit thing. Enemies will respawn a bunch though, so just be mindful of that. The bunker, it would turn out, would be quite lively. That dude was a, I think that might have been a boss. They're dead. Yeah, they're <gasps> thick boys with the backpacks are usually the ones with the uh, yes. doodles. It's a technical term. Watch him doodle. <laughs> Contact left. Good, I'm covering the stairs. It was the boss. Multiple, multiple contacts left, multiple contacts left. It was the boss. <laughs> Do you get the uh, pad? Uh, I looted it. Uh, contacts left. Contact 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 I'm just I'm take that. Okay. I'm one minute from NCAP here. I, uh, forgot. And then 
Talks to some targets clear left. Last thing you pick up that We got a bunch of targets on the second floor. On the right side. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna flank around. When the dust settled, Zugberg was encamped. Yep, I don't have a med gun on me, or so I'd get her up. Who is it? It's Zug over I here. I got him. He is up. Good work, guys. Okay, um, did someone find the data pad? I did, yep. Do they respawn, like, in their normal locations, or do they respawn from the elevator? Vlaz was already working the storage unit. Just a few boxes in was the one that we were after. Incoming! Contact on me. Okay. Uh, one down. Call again, like, Storm Guard, KD, Slushy. I don't know people's How voices. How are we doing so far, guys? Let's check that now. Vlaz, how's the boxes coming? The next box is the There's mission no... box, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. Another question our newest player Roham had was where to get weapon attachments. Uh, let me know if there's any uh, rail attachments that you guys might find while you're up there. Guns, the Ninetale guns, like this um, P4. Got like the good optics and the okay. um, so, um, compensators on them which are, are worth taking. Yeah, because I definitely need, need a few. I, don't, I haven't had any yet. Before the mission was done, though, we'd be attacked one more time. He's in the, contact, uh, oh, contact row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Good work. Contact down. Alright, start back now. Contact. Contact's front key. Oh. <gasps> Good work. I think it's upstairs. Yeah, I'm hearing a bunch of voices now. Yeah, we can uh, start pulling out. Good, good. Blast has already uh, got the box coming. First off, is Roham, I've got out. some attachments that I can give you when we get back. Yeah, it's fine. If you run into them, just keep them. I'll get them from you later. Thank you. The bunker was clear, and while not perfect, the AI had at least been active, something that was going to really come into play on a later mission. Good. Really well good. done, everyone. That was really good. You got a tier three chest. I'm pretty sure that the uh, Carrick med bed can still fix that, can it? Loading everyone back into the USA was a tight fit. All right, we just need to make this a limo. Yeah, we really <laughs> got, we got the cargo space. <laughs> <laughs> but at least the drive back would be much easier to navigate. I think it's like the, I think that was available from that stuff. Now I could share the attachments with Roham. Roham, if you if you follow me to the armory, I'll chuck the things in a box for you know. There's a few things in here actually already. Well here Christoph had some questions about what to do with the gear taken from the ship. So the idea is to put stuff back to the boxes, the armors and so on. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Well you don't have to. If you wanted to just chuck it in the ship's inventory, you can do that as well, because that way you know you've got a set ready to go. Leaving the armory, the ship was already at the drop-off point for the package that we picked up. How are we looking on fuel, by the way, Les? Uh, we're still at 100% of us. We go, we completed a mission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sharing another contract now. Sharing. Okay. Again, this was in a small-time bounty contract. It was all we had available right now, with so few suits unlocked. We'd be leaving Lyria and again returning to Walla.
Oh, really? I'm on top turret. I'm on the starboard. Slushy. Anyone on port? Or bottom turret? I can go ahead and get in the bottom. Uh, what is port? Is here. port left side? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll head towards left side. I want to target it. Oh, he looks like he might kill himself. <laughs> yeah, he's uh... <laughs> Such is the fear we induce. <laughs> this target would indeed just collapse in front of us. Kind of here we go. Up. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what? Uh, what he I, just I went white. It's completed. Wow. We did it. Good job, everyone. So you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. <laughs> mm -hmm. so what have we got that scared. would be now looking for something we could sink our teeth into a little more i was eyeing up the fugitive recovery contract this signified that a player was escaping from prison right now fugitive recovery sir eh someone's escaping from prison does that allow us to go into the uh, prison area without being flagged this time i think so i'm not sure we could give it a go okay i'm sharing it now Right, make sure oh, no, this is a team effort. Taking this contract meant jumping over to Hurston. This would take some time though, giving the fugitive a chance to escape. Just gently nudged it. <laughs> Hopefully, luckily, one of us won't go to prison. Now I am trying to stay on top of my hydration in game more these days, but it still regularly ends up in the red. I am going to go to the galley and have a cruise because I am at 27%. Subscribers will most likely tell her about it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd cheat and I'd just go lay in the medical bed, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two doors down. <laughs> I'd already placed some cruise lux bottles around for easy access. Yeah, there's no missiles, so we can't really shoot missiles. I don't know what else By the time we were arriving in Hurston though, a decent amount of time had passed. And as we were set course for Aberdeen, the contract would abruptly come to an end. Oh, it failed. Either he got killed or he cleared the crime stat. But hey, you know, we had a fun trip to Hurston. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So while here, I figured that we take on a job to evict illegal settlers from a village. Sharing another mission, it's evicting illegal occupants on Houston. Doesn't like a little bit of genocide here, oh, there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the destination would be a village on Houston itself. These missions are definitely a little unsavory, though in Houston at least consistent with how you would expect Houston Dynamics to treat illegal settlements on their planet. But this mission in particular would turn out to be very active, the most active of any village that I've been to in fact, and a lot of fun as a result. Ooh, there is a, a ship, ship down, down there. Yeah. Yeah. Corsair. Uh, yep, yeah, Corsair. I got him. The comrade yeah. is down. You are cleared to engage basically anything if you want to. Okay, so the song Breaking the Law did not just pop into my head while we were talking about this. <laughs> uh, it's not letting me swap to that target, so I can't tell yeah, you. That's a blink shot. So... Wow, isn't that pretty though? What a pretty view. Wow. Yeah. Fire. Well, I guess we're firing now. Uh, <laughs> Our gunners began engaging the ships down there, so I followed suit. But I was cautious about the idea that there may be players here. Are there any players down there is the question. Oh, uh, I can zoom in no. a little bit. There's a lot Always. of civilians though, it looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the ramp. We've got to go and basically kill everybody in this village, that's the mission. But be look out for players, because there could be players down there. It might be a small arms fire because, like, we were firing just now, so. Observing from the garage, there didn't appear to be any unusual movement out there, though that is hardly a good indication, so I figured pulling out the USA might be a good idea. Sure, if hit by a railgun, we would be blown to pieces, but against regular FPS weapons, it is very durable. I'm gonna bring the USA as, as our, like, heavy support, just in case. You guys go ahead, I got the round. Katana oh. Blast, that's not. Oh, Katana's good. back here. 
Yeah, yeah that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. So. So we're gonna do this like SWAT, and everybody follows behind Katie. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> a, a rolling barrier. Originally, I was going to operate the turret, but then Vlaz volunteered to take that on. Uh, well, Vla Vlaz, actually, if you want to jump on the turret, you're welcome to. Uh, Vlaz. With Vlaz on board and everyone else on foot, we were ready to approach the village. Yeah, I see it. Okay, got it. Uh, enemies to the left. Yeah. Oh, this is where I got a critically one injured chest wound from. The NPCs will constantly yeah, spawn uh, here. Uh, the target's very close to the right side, Vlaz. With no player encounter and Vlaz in a good spot to cover from, I was heading out to get involved. Jam, straight right. Storm, I like how you and Christopher are right. like directly in front of me. Shoots me and stuff. I got contact right. Uh, I got the party. I'm in. Good. I ended up behind the enemy that were engaging our main group. AI are surprisingly reactive, actually. One contact to the right! Yeah, I'm gonna pin down if you and Kristoff can do after me. Yeah, I'm just getting it. I did like a mounting feature so you can like mount. Project. I see the dudes that are engaging um, the other guys. I'm trying to help them. You're doing good, Vlad. You're doing real good. Slushy had joined me. Yeah. Slushy, let's push up a little further. I'm on your six. Up next front, Katie. Yep, there's another one in there as well. Good work. Ship shields on the Corsair were about to get in the way. Okay. I got a hit on one, but I don't know if Eyes I'm on. down or not. Up, uh, taking hits. Reloading. Oh, Dim. He's on the ramp. He's on the ramp of the Corsair. I can't get a shot from here. Is he on the ramp or around it? He's on the ramp. He's on the ramp of the Corsair. Right, on uh, it. Got him. Got him. Good work. Energy got him. weapons probably don't. Uh, I was gonna say energy weapons don't yeah, require shields. Well, Shield, yeah. As enemy numbers dropped, the civilians began to get involved as well. On the right. Do all the civilians just have a gun? Oh, one left yeah. behind In that case, we're uh, a large kill. Oh, yeah, shit. Good uh, work, Vlaz. Yeah, good work. Down. Holy shit. Bleeding. I'm covering you. I'm out of ammo. That's fine. This is like the best one of these villages yeah, I've ever been to. Really good. They're actually coming towards you now. This is great. Contacts in the tower. Oh, yeah, I got contacts. Okay, they marked. Oh, no, they marked. Yeah. In the yeah, tower on the ground. Know. Again, this AI is far from perfect, but in the current game, seeing them this active is a very good run at a mission. In the excitement though, I had not been tracking my ammo count. God damn it, out of ammo. Covering you. The dude is just around the corner, you, you could take him out. Nice. Even with the mission over though, there was still danger. That dude's got a gun. There's a dude approaching this uh, opposite side, he's got a gun. What the f Damn, I'm out of ammo already. What the hell? He's still up. You got him? Got him. Yep. Okay, that was the best one of these villages I've ever- Oh, holy shit. I'm still taking shots. Yeah, we're <laughs> civilians. Civilian <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I do love how this mission is just, they, they yeah, go massacre guns. the civilians, we don't care. Well, the they're gonna... The civilians pick up guns because they can't use the 
I've noticed well, every I time I've come yeah, here, the, the, the enemies will keep spawning here, so... <laughs> that was great. That was really great. Good work, everyone. Oh, by the way, there's a shop here, guys. Really? As we made our way back to the kayak, there was definitely some surprise among our group at how active that mission had been. I did not think I'd go through a 300 rounds of FS9 ammo. But how much that. did we get from that? From that not mission? expecting. Five Normally there. when you do these missions, they're not very... They become kind of active, but like not super active. That was like an actual battle. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've noticed with that that area in particular, the, N the NPCs A will try to hunt you down and come for you, and B, they're super alert, including the civilians will try to kill you. So it's... Yeah. I had a minor chest injury to be treated. <laughs> um. Now, that mission had been so much fun, in fact, that I figured we could immediately look for another one. Oh gosh, flying this thing feels so good. I've been flying industrial big ships for so long. Ooh. I know, I know, I wanted to go some Sharing another one. Because I don't have any armor. Vlaz, this one is at Cutter's Rig. Hopefully the carrot can land on the pad. Let's go! Hopefully. I don't know if, it will, if it'll fit. This one I think to actually land on the platform. Yeah, I know they talked about it on the live, but uh, I didn't think anything had come of it. It's night time as well. Imagine that. A mission on the nighttime side of a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Cutter's rig is an offshore platform close to an island, and landing a character would be difficult. In hindsight, this is exactly where we should be using the Pisces. We were going to try hovering and lowering the ramp to gain access to the platform. But the ramp immediately became attached to the platform. Oh, 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 okay, closing it. Oh, oh this looks bad. Interior. Oh, no. Oh. Abandoned ship. Ramp's closing. <laughs> Ramp's closing. We can't because all the elevators are oh. broken. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> so we lost the first polar penguin in record time for one of these series on day one. As we've seen in the Corsair and the Reclaimer though, recovering items and inventory from the crash site is usually possible even when the wreck has fallen into water as we see here. So in the next video, we'll see recovery efforts in the Caterpillar and the beginning of Operation Overdrive. How will we get on? Join us next time to find out. I am very pleased to announce the winner of our Misc Razor game package giveaway with the comment that you see on screen, the Horizon is the winner. Congratulations to you and I've already delivered the prize this time so I hope you have fun with that ship and of course a huge thank you to CIG for sending cool prizes our way. As always I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. And in this video I would especially like to thank Yarek, Anderwolf, Joe Peterson and Christopher Greenwell who all recently became backers of the channel. Thank you all so much for choosing to support, that is a huge help to keeping things going. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.